Okay, we're going to try to do some heat embossing today, and I don't know if it's going to work, so bear with me. But I have my chipboard piece, <clears throat> my white embossing powder, and I like these little guys, the Color Box Pigment Brush Pad. It's frost white. It kind of looks like a silver. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the lid off this emboss, or this, I'm sorry, the the ink and we're going to sit here and we're going to apply it to the chipboard and just keep going over it. This have you had this for a while so the ink is a little not quite there. But you'll just keep applying it. Okay, now this dries pretty quick especially on chipboard so you want to put that aside grab your embossing powder and quickly just cover it and hopefully if the ink is still wet enough it will adhere enough I don't want a big major major sparkle to it but we might just get that just kind of tap it off you can put it off to the side and if you notice here I'm working with a folded piece of paper and the reason for that is this I'll show you right now with the paper being folded you can do is it just pours right back in the container that's it now let's go back and check on our project Okay, now it's time for the heat embossing, and when you heat emboss, it gets very hot very quickly. So what you want to do is you do not want to hold this with your hand um, or put it on anything like plastic or anything like that that's going to melt. So I've got these handy dandy little tweezer thingies. They open up when you press. They're pretty cool. Okay, now see I've got it attached. So no matter which way I turn, it's going to stay, hopefully. And you can still see all the glitter on it. Now. Now what I'm going to use is my handy dandy hair dryer, which is not something you want to do for dry emboss or for heat embossing. They really do want to use a heating tool and the reason for that is because a blow dryer throws off a lot of air and with all that air, what it's going to do is it's going to blow your embossing powder all over the place and you're going to end up with, well, really not a very good project. But I do have a low setting on my heater or on my blow dryer so we're going to try that and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so I hope you can see. I don't know if you can really tell or not, but right about here, there's a big spot that doesn't really have much glitter on it. And that is because it blew away. So yeah, if you have a heat tool, that's definitely the best way to go. If you do not, I would definitely recommend you go get one because look, there's another spot right here. The whole thing is missing glitter. But you get the basic idea. Yeah, the tip is missing it too. But you get the basic idea and that's how you heat and bust.